Hello everyone, I'm Leo. As we know, we normally use the finite state machine to control the behavior of the enemy characters in the game. However, today I will introduce how to use the behavior tree instead of the finite state machine to achieve the control of the character's behavior. This is because using the behavior tree could generate many benefits, for example, improving the flexibility of behavioral expansion. Based on the Felix work, we have already completed the improvement that when the player has been detected by an enemy character, it will notice the other enemy characters. However, we want that when the player has been detected, the enemy character whose health point is below 40% can be navigated to the farthest point instead of random patrol. So when we open the enemy class, we found that there are too many things that need to be modified in the finite state machine. It largely increased the difficulties to improve the work or make some changes. So we decided to use behavior tree to replace the finite state machine. Firstly, we need to create a new behavior tree folder. And then we create a blackboard named as enemy BB. The blackboard is the foundation of the behavior tree, which is used to exchange the essential data. We also need to create a behavior tree named as enemy BT. Now let's open the enemy BB and create two Boolean variables, can see and notice, as well as a float to store the remaining health points of the enemy. Next, we open the enemy blueprint. When the event persists, we need to run behavior tree and use the relevant blackboard. To make sure that the blackboard can access the value of health percentage remaining, so we need to make the blueprint callable. At the same time, we also need to set B can see actor, B noticed actor as blueprint read write and then set all the agent behavior as blueprint callable. We're back to the enemy blueprint. We wanted the enemy blackboard can continuously access the value of can see actor, notice actor, and the health remaining. So we update the value at every tick. Let's test it. And now as you can see that the blackboard can access the value of all the variables. Now we need to create task for the behavior tree. The first one is agent patrol, and then overwrite the receive execute, and call agent patrol on the controlled pawn. After that, it complete execute. Repeat the process for all the agent behavior, and now we have already done all the task setting for agent behavior. To calculate the value in Blackboard in order to run different tasks, we need to create a decorator. At this point, we firstly override one perform condition check and then get the value of Blackboard. We need to make the return value from the can see actor as a reference data. After that, we do the same thing to the noticed actor. As for check health, in order to make the folder operation easier, we create a new value as a shell throw the value and a boolean to show more than or less than. Make these two values to be instance editable. This is convenient for us to make some changes in the behavior tree.
After that, we return the value so that we can detect whether the remaining health of enemy characters can meet the 40% requirement. Now we need to back to the enemy character class. In this step, we need to comment out the finite state machine in the tick because we don't need them anymore. And then we need to make some changes on each agent, delete all unnecessary check, and clear path when the functions of engage, invade, and attend start to run. Now, we need to finalize the behavior tree. Firstly, we need to create a new selector and add a condition in can see editor that one enemy characters cannot see an enemy, they will patch all. And then we need to add a new selector that when the enemy has been notified, they will go to the location of the player. We also need to create another two selectors and add decorators. When the enemy characters see a player, if the remaining health is more than 40%, the enemy will engage player. Otherwise, they will go far away from the player and be navigated to the farthest point. Now, it's time for testing. As you can see, we have successfully replaced the finite state machine by the behavior tree. Okay, let's talk about the initial questions. If we want to make some improvement or modifications in the behavior control, if using the finite state machines, we have to carefully modify lots of conditions. It is definitely a huge work However, if we use the behavior tree, the only thing we need to do is make some sample change. The requirement can be realized. It is more convenient than finite states machine. That is all my tutorial. Thank you for your watching.